Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is the Shark Rocket Vacuum HV302, guys, and this is a really interesting product. Let's say you're somebody who wants a Dyson, but doesn't want to spend that Dyson price tag. This is probably a good product to replace it for a much cheaper price. You're not really giving up too much besides the Dyson ball thing. That's the only thing. Other than that, you're getting a really good product here. It's approximately about 120, 130 bucks, especially if you buy it now. It's December, the holiday time. This is a perfect time to buy it. Amazon link will be down below. And yeah, let's get into the actual review here, guys. I'm gonna get closer for you so you can see this item here in more detail. This is the main compartment where all the processing is being done. You have the power source over here. You have your bag with all your garbage is in here. There's a lot of garbage in here. You may want to make I should probably take this out uh, pretty quickly here. You see right here, this is how you do it, guys. You want to pull this switch up like that, and this piece will come out, and all the dust and whatever dead bugs and whatever you have in here will come out here. Moving up here a little bit, this is your three options here. This is power one, and this is power two, and then this is off. So that's your three uh, choices here. Uh, this is your little exhaust. There isn't a little bit of an exhaust thing. It's a powerful device. There's a lot of different stuff coming out of here. And yes, yeah, so that's going to be your exhaust. Down here, guys, this is where you can kind of get more crazy with this thing here. Uh, right here, you can, I want to hit my, my fan, but this piece comes out here. I'll show you that in a minute here. And this thing, this piece will come out, and then basically you can replace this piece with a bunch of other pieces here. I'll show you in a second the other ones you can do this with, but it's really, really crazy how uh, customizable this thing can get. One cool thing about this piece here is you can keep it, uh, let me show you this process. You can keep it flat like this if you want, or what you can do guys, if you pick the device up here, you can do this on the floor as well. I just want to show you what I'm doing here. You can do this, kind of, and all of a sudden it kind of has like a loose neck. Kind of, and it can get really flexible. You can see, let me show you how this works right here. Uh, let's say you need you need a specific angle. You can kind of, you see that sharp turn I'm making? You can make a sharp turn like that. You get all the specific angle you need. So it's pretty cool. And if you want to make it tight again, you just got to kind of put your foot on it. You see what I'm doing? Put your foot on it like that. And then you should just do that. Like, sorry, that did not work. Let me try that again. Like that. And now it's back to being uh, hard again. Hopefully you can see that. So, you know, it really just depends on what your needs are, but it fits our, a large quantity of needs here. So let me show you all the different pieces. I'm going to put the vacuum down here for one moment. Let me show you guys all the different pieces that come with the unit. I don't want this thing to fall. Okay, so here's one piece. This is like for, let's say you have a car, you need to get like that kind of corner or something. This is perfect for that. This is one piece and this is the uh, extension button. You can actually make this longer here. I don't believe this piece is, I'll be honest with you, this piece is not that well made. Uh, you can, as you guys can see here, it's coming up a little bit. So it, it does work. It's not particularly that well made in my opinion, but it's something uh, you can do. Let me show you a couple other pieces over here. So over here guys, and here's another piece. This is kind of a similar concept to the other one. However, this you could probably put like a Swiffer, like a Swiffer wet mop thing under here. And this will be a good wet mop. And then you have this piece. This is for, I don't exactly know what this is for. You have a couple of pieces. You have a lot of versatility here. And yeah, so now we're gonna try out this process of uh, taking off the pieces here. So to do this process, you know, it, it could be a little bit simpler. It's not bad by any means. But uh, it's a little complicated. There's two ways of doing this, guys. You can uh, do it from here, and this is to remove this piece. So maybe you want to switch this piece up, which I don't even know if you can do that. But this is probably the piece you're more interested in. This is how you remove this piece right here. So let's let's do this. I'm gonna just press down like this, and you want to just kind of pull. It's not as easy as that. This is what I'm saying. It's not as easy as you'd like it to be, but it should work. I'm gonna pause the video. Give me one moment. Let me do this off camera. We're back here guys, so I did the process off camera just to save time. Basically, you need to do this with two fingers. You need to put one finger right here, and you put the other finger on the, uh, where my other finger was, on the orange button. And now what you can do with this, now this is where things get pretty interesting. Because now what you have here guys, you have like a portable vacuum cleaner. It kind of looks like a flame flower, doesn't it? It really does, and I can see why you would think that. But let's get serious here. Let me show you guys, let me show you how this process works with attaching pieces here. Here is the extension piece used for crumbs. This is really your crumb seeker. So you're gonna put this on like here. It's very simple actually, like this. And you're just gonna press down, like it's really not hard at all. Watch this. 
yeah, so like that, guys, you should get a nice clicking sound. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear that or not. But yeah, this is the bad boy now. We're going to plug this bad boy in here. We're going to try this bad boy out. So this is meant for crumbs. Um, I'm going to put a few examples in my hand or something. I mean, I want you guys to be able to see exactly uh, how that works here. So I'm going to plug this bad boy in. I'm going to plug it in over here. So, uh, interestingly enough, guys, this is not a grounded port. Keep that in mind. That does add to versatility. It's not a grounded port, so that's actually uh, pretty good here. So I don't have much to show you in terms of how strong this thing is. I mean, here is a here's a little piece of paper there. I don't think this is going to be much of a problem here. But we're going to try level one first for this bad boy. But it can get pretty loud. I won't say that. This is level one here. I mean, watching run. It's a pretty overkill. Oh boy, <laughs> this is really overkill. Uh, like that, it's fine, my hands clean, it's magic, right? I'm a magician. So it's pretty loud. I mean we're gonna let's try let's try I'm gonna give you guys a coin. Let's try a coin right now and see. I mean it's probably gonna work, but let's give it a shot. Here's a coin guys. And here we go. And just like that, you see that guy? You see that power? It can hold it up and do like like, and like that, it's gone. You see that? So don't do that too much, but it can do that. So, let me just get some corners here. Alright. Alright, so I think that's a good enough lesson for that part. I, I find this mode very uh, satisfying. It looks very cool. It looks like a, like a guitar, a flame flower. Or, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So, now guys, we're going to get back to business here. We're going to try level 2, which is the strongest level. Um, taking this piece off could be easier. Once again, you know, these attachments... Actually, that wasn't too bad. You just got to use two hands. If you use two hands, you know what? Maybe it's not so bad. So, I'm going to now close this piece off here. Kind of just slide it. You should be able to slide it in. Uh, yeah, right here. There you go. Flip back in. That piece is good. Let's put the big... The big piece back in, and let's do a level two attack here. I'm gonna put this bad boy in. You can't really see what I'm doing. Maybe I should push it back. Now you can see him. Okay, so pretty simple, not too complicated here. So we're gonna try level two now, and we're gonna get to show on the road here. So let's get level two popping, guys. Uh, it's actually up backwards. Let me just turn it around. Okay, it's almost ready. I so, fix it up. So guys, right now it's actually backwards. It's pretty cool that you can do it backwards. However, I don't suggest this. You want to make sure this thing is not backwards. So give me one moment, guys. Let me just make this not backwards for you, and then we'll get level two on the road here. All right, guys, we're back here at level two. We're gonna go all out. You're gonna see how loud this thing and how strong it is, kind of. So let's do it, guys. Level two. Here we go. Even stronger. And let's get the show on the road here. You can't see yet. Let me pour it back out. Here you go. It's a... It's getting all the stuff out of here. Look at that. Look at that angle. See that angle there? Yeah, boy. Look at that angle. It's getting all the garbage out. All of it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Careful that. Alright guys, I'm going to turn it off here. So, it did indicate that something got stuck in here. Because when it goes red, that means there's something stuck. Let me show you. So now, now it's green guys. I don't know if you noticed that, but before it was red. And what that means is that something probably got stuck in there. So just keep that in mind. Be careful when you're going under your bed because this thing will really suck up everything and anything you have. You have you uh, <coughs> excuse me, anything you have in there. So be careful because it could get some big stuff, and all of a sudden you're gonna be screwed because you're gonna have to clean this thing up. So yeah, overall, guys, I um, I didn't pay for this. I didn't get it. Don't worry, I didn't get it, I didn't get it for review or anything. But I didn't pay for it. My grandpa had it, and he uh. No longer does any cleaning, you know, he has people doing that for him. He goes in a 
retirement home or whatever. So, as a result, I have this bad boy here, and he gave it to my family, and now I'm using it because, well, I have space in my room for it, and I wanted to make a review of it, so it's in my room now. So this is as biased as I can be. It's a very good vacuum for the money. It will take care of anything, whether it's your floor, whether it's carpet, whether it's your car that's disgusting, whatever it is, guys. I mean, this is as good as I could possibly need a vacuum to be. I don't need the Dyson. You really don't. Unless you're maybe you work in a professional environment. But other than that, and maybe you're trying to press CEO, I don't know. But other than that, guys, you don't need that crazy contraption. This will this will do the job, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So overall, if you do want to buy this, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for more content. Check out my Robinhood link. If you make an account, you get a free stock. I get a free stock. It's uh, I mean, it's, it's free money. It's free money. I made three bucks doing it with one person so far. So if you guys want to check it out, you know, if you make free money, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed that video, and yeah, thank you, bye.